Hi, I'm Nikki Wolf, and I'm going to show you how to create a twist on a classic smoky eye, which is a perfect look for the party season. So for the first step, I'm going to be using the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir, which is a beautiful, lightweight skin elixir that comes in a pipette form. This gives a lovely glow to the skin, whilst also being packed full of antioxidants. I'm using the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation, and just applying this with a Kevin Aquan foundation brush. So moving on to eyes now, and I'm going to apply the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base all over the lids. So as the next step now, I'm using this really beautiful, rich brown, which is a Laura Mercier Caviar Shadow Stick. And I'm just putting this all over the socket and along the lash line. And the good thing about this is you can kind of be as messy as you want because you're going to use a brush afterwards. I also find that a brown smoky eye is flattering to every skin tone just allows you to create that drama without going too heavy. What I want to make sure is that there's no hard edges to this look, so I'm really using this brush to soften the edges. So now onto shadows and I'm going to use this gorgeous palette from NARS. I'm going to start with this really deep rich brown and just use this on a little fluffy brush just in the outer corner of the eye just to add some depth and definition. I'm going to add a touch of light to it using two of these gold shades mixed together on a finger which allows you to get extra color payoff. I'm just gonna press that just in the center of the lid. It's just gonna give this gorgeous halo effect. Now I'm gonna take this more peachy shade and with a larger brush, just use this right around the edges of everything we've done. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna act as a transitional color between the darkness of the eyeshadow and the natural skin tone. I always think you shouldn't be too scared to take the eyeshadow quite low under the eyes. I just think it really helps to balance the look and also it can be a really clever way of disguising and detracting from dark shadows. Just taking up the palest gold shade now on a little pencil brush, just adding a touch of that to the inner corners of the eyes. Now that the eyeshadow is done, I'm going to add a touch of liquid liner just along the lash line and that's just going to help define the lashes and really frame the eyes. I have to say, these Kevin Aquan lash colors are my absolute favorite for achieving maximum curl. I'm just gonna follow that now with a Shantikai Faux Seal Mascara in black. I once heard a makeup artist say that if you don't get mascara on the skin whilst applying it, then you're not wearing enough, which I absolutely loved because it's so true. So when I do a smoky eye, I always like to take a step back and have a look afterwards and see where needs a little extra touch. So I'm gonna go back in with this kind of deep shade of the palette with a little angle brush and just press that along the outer corners of the eye at the top and bottom. Just gonna add a little bit more drama to the look. So now that the eyeshadow is on, I'm just gonna clean up with a concealer and I love the fact you can almost use a concealer wand as an eraser and just go around the eye area. So now I wanna highlight the skin and I'm using a liquid highlighter and this is Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfected Liquid in the shade Moonstone and I'm just sweeping this over the top of cheekbones. I'm just gonna pop a sweep of powder now from the center of the face outwards. And this is Becca's Set and Refresh Powder. And now on the skin, I'm gonna use this beautiful palette. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Palette. I'm just gonna sweep the kind of darker shade now underneath the cheekbones, which adds a little bit of warmth to the skin too. So now for brows, using the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil, I'm just using the end with the spoolie just to comb the brows upwards so that I see where needs filling in. And then with the other end, I'm gonna use this to draw in little hair strokes to really give us kind of spiky, bushy brows with this look. And now I'm just using an Hourglass Brow Gel. I'm going over the top of that pencil that we've done to keep the hair strokes all in the same direction and brushed up. So I'm going to finish the look now with this gorgeous nude gloss from Lipstick Queen. It's called Baroness of Bear and it really is the perfect super nude glossy lip. So our smoky eye is complete with a nude lip and there is the finished look.